People are more afraid of, of earthquakes and uh, hurricanes and uh, government uh, the government use of drones than they are than they are clowns and zombies. But uh, nearly 10% of Americans say they are actually afraid or very afraid of zombies, and afraid or very afraid of clowns. <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's a release. I think it's a rush. Uh, myself being uh, an actor for many many years, uh, it's fun to come out and put on this costume, put on a mask, be somebody else for a few hours, and just go and terrorize people. <laughs> I love to torture people. I love to make them queasy and uncomfortable and put them in that, that circumstance that makes them like, oh, I don't want to be here. To me, that's fun. That's what I like to do. I want people miserable, you know. He's going to come back. You have to help me. Please. Get away from me. Don't leave me alone. So the person in front of you, that may scare you. But for me, I'm going to walk by and go, oh, that's not that scary. So we want to create as many different levels so that we're getting each person differently. Because not everybody has that same scare factor. So we think of, okay, we're going to do this kind of a scare here. We're going to do another scare here. This one may not get you, but this one sure will. This morning, about 3 o'clock, inhabitants were aroused from sleep by a succession of terrific shrieks from the fourth street library from the words of Dr. Todd and Professor Feather. And so may I, it appeared. I described the wise precaution as I took for the concealment of the body. I dismembered the corpse. I gasped and searched each vibration. I crouched convulsively at its every sweep. My eyes followed its outward or upper worlds with the eagerness of just unmeaning despair. I think people love the outlet, love the exhilaration, it's cathartic. Part of fear is that fear creates excitement, fear creates adrenaline. It's just a matter of, of how you channel that, how you channel that energy. The thing about um, Not Scary Farm, a roller coaster ride, zip lining, anything like that, is that that is giving you some of the same feelings and rush that a fear situation does, but yet you're in control of the situation. <laughs> There have been great numbers of fears uh, uh, of pandemics over the last couple of decades. Worries about uh, going all the way back to fears about AIDS in the 1980s, to fears about Ebola, to fears about bird flu. So some of those fears of pandemics, which do show up fairly high in our survey, might be part of the reason why people have such a fear of zombies. You know, zombies are the ultimate manifestation of a pandemic. <laughs> My name is Roberta Brubaker. I'm Todd. And I'm a monster. Ah, and he's a monster. <laughs> uh, love seeing the special effects. Love seeing how they, how the tricks and. The I don't know if I could say I get scared so much as I just like to see what's going on in there, and what, yeah. what the sets look like, what the actors look like. Props. And, and I love the great props, the great interactions. Ah!